Yo, what's up guys? Let Fire here back with another video, and today we're going to be bringing you guys a, another offensive scheme. This one pretty highly requested from the comments. It's going to be the normal Y off close formation. Going to show some of the really good passing plays in this offense. It's definitely run a little bit more. Um, there's a lot of unique routes, unique plays in this that can be really pretty good. Now, um, we're going to be in the Baltimore Ravens offensive playbook. Ravens has a lot of these unique formations. Normal Y off close, definitely one of the best passing formations in this playbook. That is normally known for its really good run schemes and run plays. And yeah, man, it's just going to be a pretty simple three wide receiver, one tight end set. And a lot of people like to combine it with a normal Y off. Normal Y off is not as good in my opinion. There's really not a lot here that we can work with besides something like Raven Sale and Red Zone Scissors. So we're going to go into the Ravens or the normal Y off close where we have a ton of unique plays like uh, Double Slant here, Mesh Spot, Escape, and Red Zone Scissors. Those are the four plays we're going to run. There's a couple of other good run plays, uh, a couple of unique run plays, but I don't, I don't need to be showing inside zone for two minutes. I feel like that's just kind of a waste of time. You guys know how to run inside zone if that makes any sense. So we're just going to start out with the double slant play, and yeah, man, let's get straight into it. All right, now taking a look at this double slant play, it is a unique play art. A lot of these plays have just unique routes that you don't see often, and this is actually a slant play that has a tight end wheel, and it has a um, deeper post from Will Fuller, as well as a little flat route with Miles Gaskin. So... Something that you can kind of do with this if you want is, of course, motion. Now, the motion is not as good with this. You see we motion waddling. It doesn't really go anywhere. I think, I don't know if Devonta Day Parker, yeah. So you actually can't motion receivers across the formation, which is kind of a bummer. It is one of the weaknesses of the offense, in my opinion. Not really any motion. Now, you can motion Will Fuller across, which is definitely something you could kind of do to create a trips tight end look, depending on the situation. So... That is something that you could definitely do and that we will be doing a little bit for this play, but not with this particular setup. You also notice when you motion, your tight end goes from on the ball to off the ball. So keep that in mind. But for double slants, pretty much what we like to do here is go with um, like a little, I'll usually just go like drag with Y, the running back on a little out to the left, and then just like curl X, something like this, just basic route combinations, utilizing all the routes that we have and just kind of taking advantage. Against cover two, the wheel route, the tight end's gonna be a little bit better. We're running cover three right now defensively, but again, just, I like to keep things simple. We're not really using hot, hot route abilities either, which could make this potentially a little bit better. Here you see the tight end wheel route with Gunslinger. That's of course probably an easier pass to make, but you guys kind of get it. If it was cover two, it's probably more open. It's also a route that you might be able to throw against man coverage. Uh, I've kind of seen people do this before. I don't really like going with the wheel route on top of the wheel route, although it does definitely open up Miles Gaskin. So if that's something you were trying to do, you could definitely go with that. But again, the tight end wheel on top of the running back wheel is not my favorite. And you could kind of just run this play stock. Maybe you go with like a zig, put X on like a deeper in route. You could also, of course, smart route B on every play, but something like this would definitely be solid. And then you have your little flat with Gaskin that, of course, you can check down. And your zig over there on the left side, that was open as well. So really mixing it up. Now going into some of the motion stuff, you can, once again, motion Will Fuller over. That's going to put the tight end on the ball. With this, you just have a super deep corner out that you can kind of take advantage with. I like to streak Jalen Waddle in this case. And then we just have a couple of options over here on this right side. We can go with, like, X on a little in route. We could actually smoke screen him over here. I will probably just go with, like, a basic in route and then call it a day of course we could also block one of these guys but this is a really good way to open up b down the field kind of got bumped there but b can get open there if you are a little bit concerned with that against cover three what you can do is actually smart out b and then just streak x so maybe we just run the play like this um and then who knows maybe we go ahead again we could like hitch y in the slot here we could block our running back if we wanted to like kind of double team here and maybe roll out with tua and now you see B's going to get a lot more open down the field. Again, Gunslinger, he's not going to float the ball up. You could also low ball it to be a little bit safer in that scenario. But that's going to do it really for your double slant play. Again, if it's cover two, the deep post can definitely get open in this particular play. All you would need is like a little route on the outside and like a little out route. Maybe you go with like a little hitch as well. Something like this would definitely open up the deep ball against cover two. So you could kind of roll out. You see how far that guy gets pulled over and it actually... Did beat cover three. We just didn't have enough time there. I'll show it one more time real quick. Uh, again, all we really did there was this. Smart out at B. And we'll see if we get the time now. But 
this definitely can beat cover three depending on the situation you can just kind of bomb it over the top right there so it definitely can work as a cover three cover two beater um, although we didn't necessarily show it too much but let's hop into our next play which is going to be mesh spot this play is pretty simple i don't run this too often uh, because you can kind of create this wheel route flat combination really just out of any play uh, like we did right there mesh spot obviously has more of a kind of combination between a seam and a wheel route so it, it can be a little bit better against man coverage or whatever the case may be but there's not a whole lot to do with these guys especially if you don't have hot route master uh, with hot route master i'm probably like putting y on a little corner route here or maybe a post route but again if we don't have that what is there really to do there's not a whole lot you could realistically maybe go with something like this is a really good route combo that i do when i'm in doubt and this could give us six man protection but you notice how almost uh, the first wheel route seems to get open better this one just doesn't seem to get open as well without a route um in that area so generally with this play you could actually just put rb on the wheel route flat b block your tight end zig y and then put x on that in route something like this and it would work probably a little bit better for you. So now you see we have X and RB open. We kind of just pick whoever we want to throw it to. So that would be a good combination to run. Um, as far as some other routes we have, again, not we don't really have too many special routes. We do have Will Fuller on this route. Maybe we could actually kind of flat A here. We hitch Y, something like this could potentially work. Um, you see we do kind of get bumped on our routes there. So it might not be the best, but that would be an option to run out of this mesh spot play again this is probably the worst play in this passing scheme that we going over but it is not necessarily terrible moving on to our next play it's going to be the escape which actually might be my favorite in this formation it's really unique can definitely split a cover two with ease with this little um what do we call it deeper post with will floor s post and then you also have deeper corner route which of course with jalen waddle you love to see those and then against man coverage you have Miles Gaskin to get open. So probably my favorite just basic combo is going to be drag A, streak X is a little clear out, and then we can also like smart out B, get him a little bit shorter. We could smart out Y, get it a little bit shorter. And I think with RB, you you actually can't smart on him. I, I was testing that out. But take a look at Miles Gaskin's route. He's going to run out, and then he's going to run a zig. So if it is man coverage, of course, he can't get pressed, and he's just going to put in absolute work for you on that route. It's also really good in zone because of how delayed it is. So a lot of times... If they're running hard flats, the flats are already established at that point in the play because it is takes a long time to develop. So uh, if they go with hard flat, he's, he's already in the flats. So you can actually throw it inside and you would have the option to cut it upfield over the top of the flats if that makes sense. And of course, if there is no hard flat, you throw it to the flat and you're picking up 15 yards with ease. We already kind of established how good this would be against man coverage as well, but... Uh, let's take a look at some of the other routes that we have go with the corner route to Jalen Waddle Just a simple high low read over here And we got both guys open actually with Gesicki on the drag Jalen Waddle on that deeper corner route really can't go wrong with this setup uh, It's really a money setup in my opinion I mean, it's just super difficult to stop and then you combine the fact that you got Will Fuller on the backside Which definitely can get open on that we throw it right here boom He's wide open that was with him actually getting bumped vertically up the field as well so he definitely could get a little bit more open than that. Uh, some other things you can do with this that I've done, you can again motion over Will Fuller, kind of turn him into a corner route. So if we're doing this, we can get a deeper corner out as you see here. And if you don't smart out him, he gets, uh, he kind of stays in the same spot, I would say. Maybe it's a little bit deeper. So you can kind of go with the same stuff we did do, like Y on a little zig, more man coverage beaters. And then with A, I'm not sure what you would do with A here. Maybe you just keep him on his deeper route, you could block him. But this would be a pretty good setup. You see Waddle's open, now you got Will Ford deep down the field, and again, really Gaskin's just gonna be open against every coverage on that right side. So this could be a good vertical play to give us extra protection. If we wanted to block the tight end, or we could, you know, if we have hot route master, we could corner route A, we could leave him on his out route if need be, but the setup's just going to be pretty good, man. And again, I do not mind having the out route with the tight end and Gaskin's route just because, again, the play art looks like they might be kind of bunched together, but when you actually run the play, you notice that how delayed is that zig route. It's going to be pretty delayed, and it's going to open it up pretty well. Um, but yeah, man, there's not... Again, the motion kind of limits us with what we can necessarily do. We could, again, go with like a motion... We can streak X, maybe we put B on like a little out route, kind of motion snap it, just to give him more to look at. So that could be something that we do maybe. 
if you wanted to realistically, but again, we could also, in this situation, I'm probably not motion. And, and actually what something you could do, sorry about me kind of fumbling. If you have Hot Rod Master, you could be on like a little crosser, motion him across, maybe we streak A, and then we streak X, you could actually run something like this. Maybe we smoke screen X, but pretend B's on a crosser. So now you have a crosser, corner route, and now you also have Gaskins route. So that's actually probably one of the best hot high-low reads. Maybe I should have used Hot Rod Master, but that's definitely something you could do that would actually be money against really any coverage in the game. Something that you could do to kind of combine with anything. Now, um, our last play is going to be Red Zone Scissors, and it's going to be kind of similar, but we all really have a different set of routes that we can use. We don't have a corner out, which is unfortunate with Waddle. Stock corner outs are always gonna be good. But we do have a corner out with Miles Gaskin. So if we just run this play stock, you notice how Gaskin actually gets pretty vertical up the field. Now cover three does a decent job at it, but this is gonna be good against a lot of zone drop based defenders or opponents. Uh, it's gonna do a pretty good job at beating man coverage with Miles Gaskin's route. And then again, you also have a stock flat with Gasicki that we threw there. You can kind of lowball this also which I threw that a little bit late, but you could kind of lowball it past the inside. If that makes any sense, I'll try and throw it like right about here. You could throw it right there and it's almost acting as a streak. So if you notice that he is playing those sidelines deep, just throw it a little bit earlier, pass it that inside and you are in business that way. Same case scenario with the other play, Escape. We do have that kind of deeper S post with our boy Will Fuller. Then over here on the left side, what's my favorite go-to combo when I don't have any stock routes I like? I don't like a comeback. I don't like this dig. We zig Y. We put X on an in route. We smart out X. This is a go-to combination, and it's super difficult to defend. You can throw the zig against man coverage. Both routes are going to be man, and one route's always going to be open against zone. Um, the spot that a lot of times you'll see them forget about is going to be the left flat. They're going to not want to double Mayball on that left side. They're going to have a lot to worry about on this right side of the field with deep posts. You have tight end wheels, running back wheels, running. The running back's a huge part of this offense in the passing game. Get someone who can run routes well, Alvin Kamara type guys. Um, don't get necessarily like your Bo Jackson type Christian Okoye guys who can't really run the routes that well. But again, this combination is going to fare super well for you. And this is something that I love out of really every doubles play. Uh, now again, the running back route is going to be a lot, probably a little bit more open depending on the coverage. This is just this cover three example, but um, I think we missed Devonte Parker there. And again, a lot of guys aren't really running their coverage with two hook curls, if that makes sense. They have their user, maybe one additional yellow zone at the most. So keep that in mind. But I just want to sh showcase this left route combination a little bit. Take a look at what Jalen Wild does to the hook curl. This is a linebacker. He pulls him super far inside, and it opens up the in route almost every single time. So as long as the in route's not getting pressed. He's usually open against cover three, especially if you're playing someone who's running stock cover three. Again, over here, we could probably fit it into Will Fuller, especially if they did not have an extra hook curl over there. If it's their user, maybe their user falls the running back. Will Fuller would be open. Uh, and again, you have the flat. So if they don't double Mabel, one of these two guys is open. They're probably having the user one. Um, and if they use their will four, then you have one of these guys open. So it really should be every coverage. It's going to be good against match coverage as well. Uh, as far as motion with this, again, maybe if we wanted to, we could go ahead and actually motion over Will Fuller. And then, I don't know, maybe we drag Y, streak A, and then with X, we could go with like a little uh, baby out route, little baby hitch. You could also clear him out if you wanted to, so you could go with something like this. I'd probably stick to like a little smoke screen, but just mixing up your coverages. Now we can check it down to Waddle, get someone with more speed, and have the option to really cut that up the field, pick up. 15 yards so overall you can do a lot with this if you want to see a gameplay on this let me know down below let me know what other schemes you want to see i do go to the comments a lot for video ideas so let me know what you want to see but that's gonna do for the video if you enjoyed drop a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel down below follow all links down below as well and peace i'm out of here